Hi everyone, it's Adrienne Leah. I just wanted to make a quick video talking about my progress. It is the Bruska Pullover by Tetsi Bloodsack or Tetsi's Knit Garden. And I'm finally making one of her patterns. So this is one of the design elements of the garment. And I'm not going to go too deeply into the pattern, but it is a folded folded neck or <laughs> folded this area and I am really happy with how it turned out I'm going to have to go back to this area to do other things but um, I am pleased because it is a little bit of a, a process that took time to do and I'm happy with how it turned out so now it'll be going to the rest of the chart and going into the yoke. I'm using my Haya Haya 4 inch tips. I'm using a different needle size and I'm using the icy blue cord. I love the colors of the Haya Haya cords. Um, and I do, I really like these tips. Let me show my knitting needle case that I have right now. But before I before I get the case, I'm wearing the Nuna jumper and I knit this last year. It's bunched up. I have it. Um bunched up here. But I use this a lot when it's the time of year. And I have a little bit of pilling, but I feel like since I've used it so much that it is holding up well, the main color is the Patagonia color. And it's, it is one where I knit the full length of it. A lot of my sweaters are cropped and then I wear like a skirt. I wear a skirt with this one too, but this one is, it's, it's nice to have it in here. And it's also going back to this pattern. I really wanted to knit one of Teti's patterns because when I apply for a test knit for her in the future, I I want to be more equipped with the different elements that she might incorporate and a lot of times that we're designers like to introduce new techniques and new ways of putting out their <laughs> sorry, new ways of like new design elements and I felt like this one has some things that I haven't done before so I 
am super pleased with how it is. I feel like it it the colors look more traditional and botanical which I really like. So let me get my knitting needle case. And the Brusca Pullover, sorry, is named after the Retrosaria Brusca yarn that was in collaboration with the creator of the yarn and the creator of the pattern. So I have my knitting needle case that I carry around. It has the needles that I mainly use. I keep the extra needles here, especially for the chow goos. I don't like carrying that um, that case around because it is expensive. And I was gifted the five inch originally, and then I gradually added the four inch. Then I just love knitting with wooden needles too. I definitely love the quality of the child goo needles and they have the bamboo ones as well. Um, I knit a lot with the Knitter's Pride Ginger Shorties, but I recently added the Haya Haya 4 inch tips. I have some of them that I wanted to get and that they had available to, they had it in America because some of them, well most of the sellers were out of country and then it was more expensive for the shipping than for the tip so I figured um, and sometimes the shipping adjusted if you added more to the cart so I did find a US Etsy seller that sold it and the seller had some of the sizes. Um, I'll gradually get other ones, but these are great. I actually really, really like them. I, I feel like they're the ones that I'm gravitating towards, especially um, here you can see this is the ginger shorty, this is the high high tip, and I really like silver or metal. Um, I feel like it's also an aesthetic too, and I feel like as much as I don't want it to be too much of a priority, um, it is one where I like to look at my projects and be completely happy with the whole thing with the and that includes what I'm knitting with too and so I really like the let me take it out the metal um, color or this silver color on here and then I do like how it has the different color here too where it screws into the cord. The cords are definitely a favorite of mine. I like it depends on what you're looking for in a cord but I I do like the Chagu cords. I really 
um, they definitely hold and they're strong in a way I feel like they're like structured or they have um, like a durability to them and they don't have the memory of when you're moving your board around with your project so it's definitely great um, I really like the they have a green one too that I haven't seen I don't know if um, it's for specific needles or if it's just on the fixed one I have a Hiya Hiya fixed circular for the soft uh, it's a US one and I love that they're really flexible they're lightweight and they are I wouldn't they are more on the delicate side but they're not fragile I really love them. This is, these are the other cords that I have for my Knitter's Pride. And I collected them over time. Because I usually don't buy this stuff at once. And just to say, I do have my, some fixed circulars here too. I recently used the Prium which is this gray one here. It's an older one. And it's metal. I tried using it for socks because it, it's a US one. But with this curve here, it is, uh, for me, it depends on what year, how you feel about it. Um, it felt strange. And then I used it to pick up the stitches for the provisional cast on and it was great for that so I actually didn't have the size that the pattern called for but these worked out and I didn't have a problem with them they really I would say they really 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 grip the yarn so you could see how you feel about that um these dpns i use for for my um us 10 and us 15 garments for the sleeves eventually i like to use dpns for the sleeves and i do have the Knitter's Pride DPNs, the Ginger set, I just keep them in that container. I don't want to break them and I don't reach for them that often until I get to that point of the sleeves. So I don't worry about it too much. But this one. is the well Knitter's Pride Ginger Needles, the Fixed Circulars in US1. I also like using these too. They're great for how I like to do the plain socks. I don't think I would use it for color work, but I, I, I do like it. And Then I have the high highs that are currently being used. So it was just a mini updated thing that I wanted to talk about. I, I do have the extra, as I said, the extra chagu tips in here because I don't want to lose them. This isn't an Addy case. I I don't have a lot of experience with adding needles, but I got this because it was in the store and it was really cheap. So these have the chow goo tips, the extra ones that I have. Uh, 
and I, I don't mind gradually building the collection because it doesn't, I, I don't mind it because it's not overwhelming to do that. But, I'll see how the high Ohio high Ohio's hold up. A couple, a lot of the needles for my knit, knitters pride ginger shorties, they're getting worn. So I was thinking about that. So you could see that it the size, the needle size their tip size isn't on there anymore. And then for some of the needles, it was chipping away up here. And there's a lamination on these. There isn't a lamination on the high highs. Or if there is, there is a, there is a lamination. Sorry, there is a lamination. Um, I'd have to double check all that, so don't quote me on that, but I was reading the back of the the, um, the container that it came in. But it definitely feels different. And I, I do like the feeling of bamboo needles too. I love the rosewood. So I I wanted to see what would be lasting. So I'll just be knitting away and see how that how the high highs are. But thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in another video. Or let me show you the sorry before I go. Show you the progress that I have on the sock. I do like using the laptop. I think it's convenient to have, but I use my phone for mini clips because um, I don't have space on my phone to do a lot of longer videos. That's using the hand dyed yarn. And I'll show the yellow. It's, it's like a buttercup yellow. It's a pale yellow. And just a northeastern type of coastal yarn here. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in another video. Bye.